So Steve and I are getting ready to do an oil change on my kid's 2008 Wrangler. This has a 3.8 in it. Uh, it takes 5W20 and it's going to take 6 quarts. Uh, usually what I like to do is put the 5 quarts in, then check the oil level, and then top it off the 6 quart if we need it. Alright, so we got Tony's 2008 3.8 uh, liter V6 and it's in his Jeep. We're going to do an oil change. We got a 16 millimeter socket on here. We're going to pull the plug and drain this. We're going to try not to make a mess. But we always do. <laughs> no, Tony always does when he pulls the plug. Come on now. <laughs> and the filter's up front. We're going to get a different pan for that one. And uh, we'll get this down here. It's been about a year since he changed it. It's not black, black, but it's due. <clears throat> and he said, what was the oil, 520? Yeah, it's 520. 520. Six quarts. Got the mobile one that we're going to put in it. So. so we bought this Jeep off a car lot, which I hate buying stuff off car lots. As we know, it was traded in. So right there, you're losing money, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So when Steve said that the oil hasn't been changed in a year, we're saying that because on the oil filter, there's a date on it, and it was dated last year, so who knows how long the Jeep was kind of kicking around, waiting for a new buyer, which was me. So right now, we're getting rid of the old cruddy oil, and we'll stop putting some good stuff in. Grab the separate pan for the filter. We got the wrench up here. I'm gonna crack it loose. Get it so it starts to leak a little bit. Let's get a new filter. We're going to wipe down the the area um, on the block here to make sure that this is nice and clean. You always want to check your surface so we know that we're clean here. And we have we made sure that the O-ring came off. It a lot of mistakes that people make is if the oil filter is sticking um, to the old one, the O-ring is sticking to the housing it can come off of the filter and if you don't check to make sure it's on your filter you can have an issue now there's some type of material up here that i'm not really liking we're going to get a razor and scrape this green paint off in case it hits our rubber from the filter so we're going to clean that off so we matched up the o-ring from the old one and we can just make sure that they're the same now we got a little oil on this one so we're good spread that around Doesn't look like it was gonna hit that green paint mark, but you don't know. And we just gotta tighten it by hand. Give it a little snug. It doesn't have to be totally cranked on there. So that's good. This thing kind of makes a mess on your axle tube here. So we're gonna dry this all down with a rag, get it clean. You don't want it leaving spots in the driveway or your customer's driveway. So we got a tiny bit of oil leaking from the rear main here, tiny bit. So we're just gonna dry this all down and uh, really nothing to speak of, but we're gonna dry it all up to make sure. And we'll keep an eye on that. Get the little plug here, we'll unthreading right here. And we're gonna get a funnel that fits right in there. Make sure your funnel is clean. Go back in here. Tony says six quarts, I believe him. But we're gonna put five in and we'll check it. It's easier to put it in than to take it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. But everything I researched on the internet said six quarts on the 3.8. Oh yeah, you believe everything they tell you. Yeah, all these, <laughs> 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 forget <laughs> all, all, all the armchair mechanics. <laughs> Don't pour too fast. You never know 
If the valve cover doesn't accept the, the oil is quick and you don't want to back up and make a mess. So we're gonna get the five in it. We'll pull the dipstick and we'll take a peek. Um, and then we're gonna, after we get the oil in it, we're gonna check, you know, our battery connections and hoses and belts, brake fluid level, power steering, and all of that stuff. Because like I said, you're checking this, you may only do one oil change a year. If you're only doing five to 7,000 miles a year, and if you're doing more than that, and you're doing two oil changes a year, then you want to keep an eye on everything. So, right. so we got our dipstick over here for the oil. I'm going to pull that out. Wipe this down. Right there, the level is pretty much at the full mark, okay? So we're gonna run it and check it. And as long as it doesn't drop down below the check mark here, you know, we're actually good. So, you know, you can, you can play around with a quart of oil on this vehicle. So right now it is within its value, um, but we're gonna run it and then we'll double check it and see where it sits. And then we'll decide whether we put the half a quart or the full quart. So we checked the oil filter after we started it. We make sure there's nothing leaking. So that's good. And um, while it's running, we're going to just check our transmission fluid level. She's in the back over here. I'm going to wipe it down. Okay, we're right up there. So the fluid's clean, and it's right up to level. So that's good. So we're going to shut it off and we're gonna double check our oil fluid level, uh, the oil level and the belts and everything else. All right, so we ran the vehicle. Now we're gonna double check our oil level here. All right, so we are right at the bottom here. So we are gonna put that six quart in. So it is a true six quarter. So we're gonna put the six quart in. All right, so let's get our last quart in. We also looked at our battery terminals. They're nice right there. Uh, Tony must have put this battery in himself because it's wobbling a little bit. We're gonna make sure that that's tight. Hey, listen, pal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all we got left here is we're gonna throw that extra quart of oil in and we're gonna do a light check on the vehicle and um, that should wrap it up.